In this video, we will explore the student view when completing Brightspace assignments. So here we are as a student in this course, and all assignments are under the Content tab. So the student will begin by clicking on Content. Then they will see their units listed down the left-hand side. They'll want to locate the current unit that they're working on with their teacher and click it to open and expand the unit and see any assignments included within. Here we have the sample assignment that we're going to complete today. You'll always know the Brightspace assignments by looking for the icon that sort of looks like a piece of paper sitting on a shelf. When I select on this, I get the additional option here in the center of my screen to go to an assignment. Here I have all of the specific information that my teacher chose to include for me in this assignment. Starting at the top of the screen with the title of the assignment. Moving down, we see the instructions my teacher typed out. We have the due date and time. Any attachments that my teacher chose to give to me. Options to add additional files, record audio or video a text box for me to type information in for my teacher, and at the very bottom, my option to submit or cancel out of this assignment. If I return to the top of my screen, I can click to open each of the attachments that my teacher gave to me. Because these are Google Files, they are view only for me, so I can see all of the content. I could click on any hyperlinks contained within these, but I cannot actively edit anything in this file. It would be great for an article that I'm looking to read or something that has instructions for what else I am supposed to complete. Once I'm finished with that file, I can close out of it and be brought back to my assignment window. Depending on the type of assignment that my teacher has given me, I might see these options here to add a file, record audio, I might see the box to type in comments, and I might see the submit button. For example, this is a file type called file submission, which means in order for me to even turn this into my teacher, I have to attach a file. If I try to just click submit, I get an error message that I'm not allowed to submit it until I attach a file because that's the type of assignment that this is. Another assignment type that my teacher might give me is what's called a text submission. This does not require that I attach a file. In fact, it doesn't even allow me to attach a file. What I have is that same comment box or text box to type in. And once again, this is what is required for this assignment type. So if I try to click submit without typing anything in the box, It comes back with an error message that says, I must type something in the box in order to submit this to my teacher. Additional assignment types will not actually require me to submit anything to my teacher here through Brightspace. In this case, what I might see at the bottom of my screen is simply a mark as complete or an option for me to tell my teacher that I have finished whatever they asked me to do as a part of this assignment. Once I click mark is complete, my teacher has the assignment back in their hands and they are ready to grade it and give me feedback. I can close this tab in order to be taken back to the Brightspace content area and move on to the next assignment.